The infield fly rule is a rule of baseball that treats certain fly balls as though caught before the ball is caught, even if the infielder fails to catch it or drops it on purpose. The umpire's declaration of an infield fly means that the batter is out regardless of whether the ball is caught. The rule exists solely to prevent the defense from executing a double play or triple play by deliberately failing to catch a ball that an infielder could catch with ordinary effort. A ball batted into the air subjects base runners to a dilemma. If the ball is caught, they must return to their original base. If not caught, the batter becomes a runner and certain runners are forced to advance to the next base. Base runners study the fielder and advance only far enough from the base to ensure that they can return safely. If a presumed catch becomes a non-catch, forced runners must run forward instead of back. This creates an advantage for the defense in intentionally failing to execute an easy catch, which the infield fly rule exists to remove. The infield fly rule is explained in the official baseball rules in two places. The rule applies only when there are fewer than two outs and there is a force play at third base. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you would like to view more of our videos. Have a nice day.